Try to actually give a little bit of a power here. Oh yeah. This thing's just, look at that, just, this thing just, just fly. Just, I don't even have, I'd say I'm maybe about 30% into the throttle, and this thing just go. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be to review this 2022 Ford Expedition Limited. Now I wanna, big, uh, wanna give a big shout out and thank you to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this brand new Expedition. So we have just reviewed in the channel a 2022 Expedition as well. That one was an XTL T model in a max length, obviously the longer version of it. That was a 4x4 model, but this one that we have here was a little bit higher trim. It's a limited model. It's got a beautiful mahogany red interior. This is kind of a, what they call this one here. Uh, this color here is called a blue tint, uh, blue color, blue tint uh, exterior color, which is what, what it's actually called but it's a really cool color nonetheless. This being a limited model, which is really awesome. This one's got the 15 and a half inch screen and we do have a panoramic sunroof on this girl as well. So a little bit of difference between the last one that I test drove, guys, you can check out that video. Um, I'll link it down up here or put it on, uh, put the link in the description below. But uh, these are awesome vehicles. Now, obviously uh, this is a, you know, the updated or the mid cycle refresh of the fourth generation of the Expedition. Really awesome. I and mean, this is probably one of the best expeditions that, you know, Ford has done. Of course, for 2022, they redid the front the rear and the interior everything has been updated and refreshed and more modernized as well there's a lot more packages as well a lot more features right, you can yeah, get so, so this, this is a beautiful color just called you know basically called tinted blue this has got the optional 22 inch wheels wrapped around some general tires 285 millimeter tires we'll check those in a few moments it's got a bit of chrome as well on the outside it's not basically like a stealth package you, you can also get but this is basically really nice chrome exterior the door handles the wheels wheels look awesome and uh, just checking really out the really rear cool. we got some led lights here as well for the new uh, design of this 2022 expedition really cool i mean it's all kind of similar to the ones you know unless you're a real fan or you own one you probably won't look you probably won't notice a lot of the uh changes for the expedition unless you really look hard but obviously interior wise yes you're gonna find a notice this. now this one does have the automatic as you can see a little bit of chrome on the bottom there that's part of that but we do have here as you can see we have the automatic running boards on the side here, both sides, which are really nice. We got uh, body painted color mirrors here, as you can see, with your LED turn signal there. Really nice, love this wheel, this wheel looks fantastic. And overall, really nice of what Ford has done to this redesign of the Ford Expedition. Now, as you can see guys here, we have like a twin wheel here, which is really cool. This is done in Chrome. Obviously, there's a lot of versions of this Ford Expedition. This is just being one of the six versions you can get from the base XL, XLT, you got Timberline, you got this limited platinum, them. and of course you got also stealth edition part of the package you can get but as you can see really we got a bit of data running that which is kind of a, a longest version let me see if i can get that turned on you can see guys here we got a data running light kind of a more of a c-shaped which is really nice we got uh led headlights and led fog lights you can see guys we have a fog light here down there which is led we got a bit of chrome surround surrounding that we have more of aluminum front there and we do have active grill shutters on this girl as well this is probably part of the all uh, the way that these expeditions are for 2022. So really nice exterior, really nice, very kind of, uh, you know, elegant. And of course, depending on the model, this, this grill will change depending on if you've got platinum or all the stealth edition or the Timberland edition. But uh, 
it just really depends on the model but they're really really good good this one here does have the panoramic sunroof and as you can see we do have some crossbars on those roof wraps as well and we have your antenna all right so guys taking well, a quick so. look at the power package and wheel package of this expedition you can see guys 22 inch wheel this is an optional wheel beautiful design wrapped around 285 millimeter general grabber tire these are all season tires considering this is not a 4x4 model this is just a regular 4x2 model but really good looking wheel awesome the way and these are all the same these are basically all the same wheels same size all, all right so checking out the rear of this expedition as you can see guys we got some led taillights love the design of the, how they did that they also have a little c version here as well kind of similar to the design of the front lights really nice the way everything is we got a bit of chrome addition here crossing the whole uh lights here the expedition name of course we got a bit of aluminum here in the bottom you got your little plate that covers your tow hitch as well there 9300 pounds you can tow with this expedition being the shorter version uh, and of course you get the limited uh model there as well so you can also guys open up this little windscreen as well we open up in just a few moments but we're gonna first go ahead and swing our foot so as you can see that this expedition is equipped with the uh door foot actuated hatch so this is an awesome feature that you can do we have our key here as you can see it's basically your regular key that has you know open and close you got automatic remote start and your hatch opening as well but you can use the foot as well which is an awesome feature to have if in case you got a grocery store coming up to the rear you have to open up the vehicle first for in order for that to work if i'm correct so here we have the big you know size of this expedition now this is being the regular version we don't have a little more extra room here in the back as we did on the xlt one that i test drove before uh this is just a regular version we still got a really plenty of room here as you can see this is the third row is done right now now if you press the little button here you can bring the seat up as you can see automatic for both seats and down the middle ones you can put them down automatically but they have to raise them up manually if i'm correct so on each side guys you can see we got rooms for basically you know waters or anything like that storage you got a usb connection and some more controls for the seats here same here for the same size as well same here for this size of side as well usb connections and all that which is really awesome now you get about i believe it's about 17 or 15 cubic feet behind this third row here and if you put the seats on i'll put those numbers up for you guys on the screen so you can check it out but it's really excellent room this is the biggest one that ford has you know the offers of course besides the navigator as well but this is basically your biggest one or the max best big as you can get what ford offers for next week if you remember guys we did have ford did have the excursion which was a base out of it for ford f250 which is a little bit bigger but obviously that's another story for another video so but uh, this is really nice obviously we got some storage spaces here we got a lot of hooks of course this is your buttons for the seats we got a little more hooks here coming on this side guys we do have a 12 volt connection we do have of course a usb mic as i just mentioned then we do have a speaker here as well for a subwoofer for the for the um, bang and offset system that this has and of course if you raise this here we got a little extra room here of course this is a brand, a brand new model you got your plate here you got some more things here it looks like a little net we have here your jacket that's inside of this panel and we do have a full size pair underneath this moth condition obviously you get out you it's got to be a way to put it down but you do have a full size pair with this expedition i don't think it's going to be the same wheel but at least you got a full size pair in case of an emergency oh, wait, let's so. go ahead and bring the hatch down to bring it down you can either press the button here or use your key double tap it and it will certainly come down as you can see there as well so we got a re reverse through camera there as you can see and really love the way all right this so is checking out guys. the other way you can open up the little the upper part of the hatch you can just go ahead and press this button here guys and have a little the handle here where you can lift this this is an awesome feature where you can lift this part of the window up and basically access some more stuff here if you want to just kind of ventilate the rear or you have a little big big back here you can just grab instead of bringing the whole hatch here that's an awesome little feature so little little quirk that you can do with this little back hatch window that's opening so just bring it out carefully guys so that's obviously glass you gotta be careful with it but that's a little awesome feature that the expedition has as well which i really like all right let's go and check out what's powering this ford expedition let's go ahead and pop the hood we're coming here to the expedition's hull is gonna just pull the little lever here and we got hydraulic assistance hydraulic shocks for this hood which is awesome considering this is probably a heavy hood so all right guys so here we have the heart of the beast of this ford expedition this is a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged v6 ecoboost engine this is producing 400 horsepower 480 pound feet of torque now as i mentioned before there's basically this this is basically the only power plant that's in the expedition depending on the trim you get uh, there's a little bit of different power the base one's got 380 horsepower and 400 
uh, and 70 pound-feet of torque. This has got 480 pound-feet of torque and 400 horsepower. If you get Stealth Edition or the Timberland, you get the 440 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque. If I'm correct, I'll put all those numbers up for you guys on the screen. This one does about 17 uh, in the in the city, about 23 miles on the highway. This has made it to a two-wheel drive system. This does not have the, the four-wheel drive system, and this has made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission. So basically, the only power plant you can get with the Expedition. So I'm sure Ford has some sort of plan to put either a hybrid version power of this engine, like the one in the Ford F-150, or some sort of electrification plug-in hybrid of this. I'm sure it's going to come out, or it's in Ford's plans sooner than later, most likely. So, all right, let's go ahead and close the hood, guys, and there we go all right let's go ahead and check out the interior of this ford expedition now as you can see guys we got the running board already deployed which is an automatic which is a little awesome feature now this guy has the mahogany leather interior which is kind of a reddish kind of a velvet red or more of a darkish red which it looks awesome especially with the contract of this color it looks fantastic i really love this color i'm going to back up a little bit as you can see there really really awesome combination this will go well this could go well with a black or a gray or a silver color but the blue really does that kind of really nice contrast to it all soft leather as you can see guys here and we got all that little bit of lumen here running through the just below the uh, door handle here we got pockets all over the place speakers checking out this one here has the captain chairs of course you can get the bench seat if you want more room but the, this captain seats are awesome as you can see they're all adjustable you can raise them up like this you also have this little hook here as well they'll come down as you can see and here we have the room for this couple plenty of room in the back for all the guests here so uh we, we kind of already reviewed the, the expedition a little bit there but uh there's kind of a lot of nice room here as you can see this this letter is fantastic all right let's go ahead and step in and check out this interior right, so in the back of this expedition guys excellent room that we have here as you can see i'm 511 still got plenty of room a few inches left here for that your room size here excellent the way this is all designed and executed so you can see guys this has got the panoramic sun which is an excellent option on this expedition so like unlike the last one i test up didn't have it this is just looks fantastic it gives you more an airy feeling to the cabin as you can see guys here we have the new uh layer of this interior of the expedition now this one does have the 15 and a half inch screen as you can see there digital display for the instrument cluster so we'll get up there in just a few moments coming down here guys you can see we got a couple layers up here we have your third zone ac up here as you can see we do have also heated seats for this middle row as well for these captain chairs to so control all your ac as well you got a little expedition name as well here we have a couple of usb connections and we have a 150 watt three prong home connection there for the convenience very low center tunnel here which is really nice so you got plenty of way to get up here so here we have the backward guys to easily get back here really nice we got some more ac outlets as you can see here and we got lights and all that kind of stuff here so this is really so cool. this is you also got the ac outlets up here which is really cool usually you're down here but obviously you got the center console here which is not the way to put some ac on it the, the way the design is through here but really awesome you got a little light here as well integrated into this little hook so really nice i love this leather interior it's really cool the way this is it's really awesome the way it's really soft perforated seats fantastic interior of this expedition guys so all right let's go ahead guys and get to the all front right, let's go ahead guys and check out the driver's side of this expedition so as you can see guys we got that more of that mahogany red leather here which is really nice very soft to the touch especially here for your elbow a bit of more aluminum here controls for your windows and mirrors and you got memory seats as well here for the power drive seats here that we have of course you got your running board that's already stepped down really nice i really love this way that this this contrast you can see guys the blue and the red looks fantastic i really love the way this interior is is done no? so we got that really nice seats are very comfortable perforated cooled and ventilated as you can see so and look at the steering wheel we got a bit of aluminum trim there really nice we got also some of that red stitching that comes to contrast that red leather and of course we got some of that red leather here on the dash we got this is a little more plastic but it's really nice bit of a nice kind of a, a looking aluminum trim here along with the rest of the, the rubber here of the, the the leather so guys here we have if you can see guys we have we have a little bit of a graphic display as you can see here it's like a little expedition as you can see there kind of going into the woods we got the city we got all kinds of really nice little cool touch that Ford did that uh, kind of you know insu insinuates the, the kind of the uh, you know the uh, outdoorness of this expedition so obviously you can get the expedition model the terminal model excuse me where it definitely some you know it's a capable off-roader as well so but a really cool guy so of course you can get more here you can do control your 
your pedals you can see guys there we got your, your parking brake lights for controls and we got your hatch opening and all that kind of stuff there as well so we got uh, automatically adjusting and tilted tolling scoping steering wheel which is really awesome so all right guys let's go ahead and get into this interior and check it out all right so inside of this expeditions interior the, this limited model has a really cool interior i love the red leather here excellent visibility especially with the sun it really gives you more light i uh, love the all the aluminum trim and all that's really really cool what everything else done this is kind of a obviously it's kind of like a wood aluminum trim it's kind of really interesting the way that's trimmed or the way it looks but it's very soft to the touch we get a bit of more aluminum here which is really awesome this finish there and with the letter goes well now obviously as you can see guys this one here has the 15 and a half inch screen this is kind of put together from or brought from the ford maki uh that's basically the same screen that's in the maki but this is kind of goes really well here incorporated into this expedition being a much bigger vehicle so let's go ahead guys and turn this vehicle on because it's quite hot today here in central florida gonna go and press our start and stop here so as you can see we have the digital display here on this one the 12 inch digital display for your instrumentation which is awesome when it gets some ac going because it is pretty warm and as you can see we got the big four logo heel starting and we got the huge screen really awesome the way this expedition really looks and, and the way that everything's done especially with this red color really looks cool sorry guys we got that v6 twin turbulus here just a little bit That's pretty cool. You can definitely hear a little bit of turbo whistle. A little awesome. These are pretty good power plants, especially for this vehicle. You can be impressed how quick these things are compared to the size of this. Go ahead, guys, and close the door. So as you can see, got all really nice, all the way that this is really done. Really cool what Ford has done. So, all right, guys, we got a little more AC in here that's running really nice. Of course, you hear that noise. That's the running boards getting tucked in back into Sorry, the body. But since we've done a most a review of the former one of all the features, obviously this has got the different. This has got the digital screen here, which you can see all kinds of settings you can do. We got fuel economy. We got a little Ford Expedition there in the same color actually, which is a really cool little touch there. Uh, we can just scroll down to we got trips. We got all kinds of information. Configure it, fuel economy, trip. Uh, we can go to the menu here as you can see we got fuel my trip vehicle information towing phone all kinds of great things if we put navigation we might get a little screen there as well uh, home previous all kinds of great little menus here so of course we got digital tachometer speedometer and all the digital gauges here as well for this one this has only got 10 miles and it's a brand new expedition so i love the way this is basically brought in from the ford f-150s all the same instrumentation so we got your controls for your you know um basically cruise control your you know active cruise control we got uh this has also got active shutters in the front as well if i remember uh, but of course this has also got ford copilot 360 uh you got also parking sensors as well on this one as well a front camera rear camera all kinds of great features all the safety features that force got we got of course blind spot detecting mirrors we got automatic braking we have all those great things that ford co ford copilot uh, 360 gives you now we're going to say into the middle of course it's got a 12 speaker bank and option now this does not have the 22 speaker if i'm correct uh um, optional bag and option this has got the 12 speaker bag and option which comes down i think on this limited models depending on the option and the trim here we got the optional 15 and a half inch center screen which is fantastic obviously you get a little ford expedition there which you can touch we have all your you know basically your cameras as you can see guys we got the camera fantastic clear view of that camera and here we got your 360 degree view as you can see here um we got your different camera angles you can see it gives you the settings here for the your sensors we got the rear camera here uh, really cool all, all you got all kinds of settings you can do we have a view for your hatch and you can go over to the back here as well into the front all the view this is the front camera so you can see then you can turn off your sensors here as well which is really awesome so that's excellent what you have there now we go back to the main menu here for you got radio uh we have all kinds of you know uh, sunnet radio you get a regular stations uh, we have navigation this has got apple carplay under under auto as you can see there's also a wi-fi hotspot on this this system also does over the air updates as well uh and you can also sketch as you can see you can do a sketch in here as well for that so it's really cool you can sketch here so that's pretty awesome of course you get all kinds of features you can do all kinds of settings here mode valet port marking and you have your settings here this is probably also got probably some sort of ambient lighting but you got all your things you 
you can check out general display clock connectivity all kinds of great things this port i'm gonna get it all into it because we'll be here another for another 45 minutes but fantastic overall system now this is different than the one the one in the xlt was uh, by the 10 inch screen the 12 inch screen that's fitting basically horis uh, vert uh, horizontal uh this one's got the vertical screen which is really cool i really love this is really integrates well into the into the interior no so of course guys checking out the rest of the interior you got the two glove boxes here one over here which got pretty decent size you got your regular glove box here we got a 12 volt connection uh here we got uh, traction off we got ac max we got your hazards this is the little cubicle here which you can close you can see some of that little finish is really cool and we got a little more chrome surrounding that so down here we guys we do have a wireless charging pad for your phone we got two usb connections of course you got your little raw dial here for your gear change we got modes as well now this has only got five modes because obviously this is not a four by four model or a four wheel drive model so if you press the button you can cycle through your normal um i should go to my normal hold on a second so we got normal tow and haul slippery we got trail and we got echo so we're probably gonna leave it in sport because that's the type of channel we are so obviously this has only got five ways of modes obviously if you go to if you got a four by four model or all wheel drive model you're gonna get two more modes uh, so we got a little cubicle here as well we got your parking uh this is basically your parking uh that's a little button that goes to the parking sensor and all that, which is really cool so we got you can close this up guys here you can open up a couple of cup holders and if we we got your huge huge armrest here and then of course we got a little a big cubicle here we got just a 12 volt outlet there no other connections that i see and you have also a little bit of tray here as well so basically that's basically your interior here at the bottom guys of course you got the panoramic sunroof we got your home link here we got room for your sunglasses and i love the way this is black it's got a black headliner which is cool which is perfect because yes it doesn't get dirty or anything like that uh we got light here as you can see we got the you can close the shade up or not we so, go back guys here and we go back to actually we go back to the screen here go back to radio and let's go ahead and check out this has got a 12 speaker back and also system that sounds pretty cool it sounds really really good really good system as well so we got cool heats heated seats of course we got heated seats as well for the middle um center row here uh the, we got the cool seat right now which was fantastic so and we also got a heated steering wheel as well so lots of features guys for this expedition and uh let's go ahead guys and go out for a drive i want to put on my seatbelt very important all right so i'm going to put a little dial in drive so you can see guys so we check out the reverse camera before we go out as you can see we got the trajectory lens as well we got the sensors and we got your 360 view here camera which shows you of course the parking lot where i'm at right now fantastic view fantastic the, the graphics are fantastic really really cool view and you can see we can change all kinds of settings as well you can do the front camera rear the hatch all kinds of great features as well so that's really awesome let's go ahead guys and put this back on drive and uh let's go ahead guys and head out so awesome awesome looking i love this interior of this expedition this is a shorter version of course so it's a little bit smaller and let's go ahead and get a little bit of a u-turn here check out the turning wheels which is not bad at all for all right guys let's go ahead and this thing feel, feels so smooth such a smooth feeling and uh you know very quiet you know everything's well placed feels, it, obviously the steering is light so it does feel light in your fingertips but it's so roomy so nice and airy in here this feels really nice here sorry guys so this one here it's been the limited model we got 400 horsepower instead of 380. now i did drive the xlt one that had a 380 horsepower uh engine this has got a little of 20 horsepower of course if and of course if you get the uh the stealth performance package on the timberline or even the bigger ones you're gonna get uh basically 440 horsepower i'm just gonna wait for that uh for explorer to go by but this is really nice i mean this just feels fantastic this expedition uh really look everything the way it is so we got a really nice uh feeling leather steering wheel as you can see guys really nice the way this is so love the instrumentation in digital let's go ahead guys and go so as you can see this is a this thing just goes you press it and that torque is just impressive so yeah this doesn't turn to it yeah i could definitely can feel the weight so obviously this is a, gonna be a pretty heavy 4500 i'll put how much this kind of weighs guys but it's gonna be at least 45 4800 pounds weight to this expedition but such a smooth vehicle such uh ref feels refined to be honest you, know, you got a lot of uh a lot of good power in the brakes i'm just gonna just you know the brakes have a very good you know strong feeling to them very linear power very linear feeling to the brakes so obviously we get on it a little bit just the torque it's 
and this thing just picked up speed so easily it's impressive this little is this engines uh this equipment engine does so so obviously we're in sport guys it's gonna hold the revs just a little bit longer it's gonna have a little more quick acceleration and uh you know basically a bit of a more of a quick pedal feel to the uh to the you know, basically a little quicker reaction to this to acceleration but this thing feels great overall the, the heated the cool seats are doing fantastic really nice i mean it feels very easy to drive you know suspension is very comfortable brakes are confidence inspiring and uh you get here guys and it's such a nice engine i mean since everything's so roomy it feels so good everything's at your fingertips here so let's go ahead guys and go so yeah i mean if you step on it just a little bit this thing just oh man <laughs> wow this thing is it's just amazing how agile this thing feels in acceleration being a being the biggest one it has i mean this thing just feels great i wish they would put this engine in the x book and the explorer that would be a pretty cool power to have um you know just uh, an overall fantastic SUV. i mean obviously this is about seventy thousand dollars the way this is seventy thousand five hundred and fifty five dollars is what they're asking for this expedition and i wanted to drive because obviously this is the first time i'm, I'm seeing the 15 inch screen here 59 inch screen here in one of these this is the first one i get to see so it looks fantastic obviously the other, the other screen's got plenty of, of you know entertainment space as well but this is just on another level here so love the digital instrumentation i think this is far much better than the than the analog version so really love this instrumentation this is perfect for me obviously the size obviously i would like to get the timberline that'll be my more of my thing or the stealth one uh that'll be the way i would uh, go yeah it feels refined quiet there's very minimal uh wind noise even we're doing about 56 we're not going high but there's no wind noise the tires there's no tire noise just it's a little bit of road noise but very very very, very minimal noise so just a fantastic feeling SUV I, to be I, honest. Did, so. I did get to drive the Chevy Tahoe um, and it was fine as well. Obviously it's got a normally aspirated V8, but um, let's go guys and give a little bit of a power here. Oh yeah. This thing's just, look at that, just, this thing just, just fly. This, and not even have, I would say I'm maybe about 30% into the throttle and that thing just go, wow. So let's go ahead guys i want to show you and put this back on regular mode we're in sport we go back to normal and then the transmission is going to relax and all that stuff so much more relaxing drive but it's still a very still such a nice and it's very quick pretty good powerful engine and um, of course this thing tows 9300 pounds you got plenty of storage space uh you can easily tow any pretty good race car your boat your jet skis and be very comfortable traveling so um, obviously this is a 4x2 model so obviously this is probably good for Florida if you live in inclement climates of course you want to get the 4x4 or the all-wheel drive or the four-wheel drive system so but nonetheless guys fantastic fantastic feeling SUV uh, lots of amenities you know basically this is almost fully loaded except if you want to go to the uh, basically to the, you know the platinum one or the king ranch version of this so that all depends on what you know your body is and all that but i find this interior probably pretty nice i mean considering the red leather the other than the way it is it feels modern it feels you know pretty nice to the touch um the mirrors are great so everything you know it's just a, it's such a nice place to be at uh really impressive with this expeditions to be honest so um what more can you ask for obviously they're not cheap they're not probably for everybody but if you're looking for a vehicle that can tow that can call your family in comfort a lot of great things that this thing can do i mean overall yeah 70 is not an easy chunk of money but you know pretty fuel efficient pretty powerful suv to be honest and uh, i just love the way it feels very comfortable to drive wow really really impressive this uh this expeditions have become obviously the interior feels much more refined than even the last version uh which i drove as well um, like that it was of course that's had a v8 um but uh, you also got many different models of course you got the new sequoia coming out as well from toyota uh you got the nissan pad uh, you got the nissan uh honestly the title was the other one called I just, I just lost the name right now uh the armada um of course you got what else you know going if you want to get a little more luxury you have to go to the navigator uh, kind of like escalade and of course you got the taco you got the gmc as well uh what else has a huge SUV? not much competition to this but ford has really stepped it up with this uh expeditions really great the way they feel the way everything is executed the it's kind of feels it definitely feels a little more quality as well uh definitely you can feel that this is a well-assembled vehicle 
So we are going to wait here for traffic. But this thing's got some good throttle response too. This thing just takes off easily. It's amazing how this thing quick this this torque feels. Obviously we got 480 pound feet of torque, which is a ton of torque. Um, it just you know feels fantastic and at your basically at your command of your right foot. So but I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying this type of uh, content, guys. If you really uh, like this uh, review, you know, please uh, subscribe, you know, share, like, comment, guys. Um, obviously, you guys, you know, I don't work for Ford to Ford anything like that. They just let me borrow this awesome cars, you know, very thankful to them. But a uh, fantastic, fantastic SUV. I really like this expedition. I would love to take this like into North Carolina, something like that. But obviously, well, I wanted to be a 4x4. That's why I kind of uh, more inclined to the Timberline model, uh, which I think would be a fantastic little off-roader, especially like this. But um, all right, guys. So just to uh, give you, you know a nice view of this, let's go ahead and check out the rear camera once more. So as you can see, we got a really awesome display here as well. You got your all your trajectory lines, and we're gonna come right close. Let's see if it detects that. Uh, little yeah, it does. There's a, there's the uh, little the, the um, there's your detectors as well, your sensors detecting that. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this expedition review. Awesome expedition. This is an expedition limited uh, four by two with this awesome interior, this red interior, which looks fantastic. It's got the blue color on the outside. Uh, Ford has done a really cool color, uh, really nice with the way they have done this expedition. So, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you to all that have subscribed. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Help out, guys. Support the channel. Subscribe, like, share, and we'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care. Bye bye.